And you know what? Nope. 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 What is up and welcome back everybody. Potato Slayer 3 here. Today we're going to play another random game from my Steam or Epic Games library. So using the script we made last episode, we can simply click generate and it'll generate a random game for us to play. Now clicking generate here, looks like we're playing game number 225 on our Steam library. So going over to Steam and it looks like it's going to be a little harder to find our game on here, but we can do some simple math in order to get into that. So if we try to center it, looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 for
Not sure if it'll be the best way to play the game. And there's our ultimate, so I guess we'll show you. Bam, knock down a bunch of guys with just one hit there. A little bit quicker than our gun. So it seems like it's a pretty quick game here. So let's see, it doesn't look like we can go to the left yet. Seems like we have to go down to this trident here and play this one through. And I have to keep remembering that I can dodge stuff so I don't take too much damage and end up dying. Oh, that's a new enemy there. I wonder what those things are. Oh, uh, looks like they shoot out some stuff. So we definitely want to get rid of those soon if they spawn with any other enemies. Could be dangerous. And I still took damage even trying to dodge. I'm definitely a professional. Don't watch what I'm doing. Another new enemy and some more lives. And we just lost the life that we gained. Now I'm still kind of getting used to uh, using the arrow keys to aim. It's definitely a little bit interesting. And we have our ultimate ability which we can use. And we might need to use in order to save ourselves here at 1 HP. Cutting it a little close. And I think we actually made it out in time. So and we got an achievement or something for winning without using our ultimate, which is nice. Definitely don't need an ultimate. We're professional as it is. Yeah, so it looks like we get little uh, little gems or something that we fill in if we do certain, um, certain tasks inside the room. Let's do this one, and I'll want to check out the last room to see what's in there. The one with a little gem icon. Maybe it's like a bonus room or something. Oops, we want to get rid of those guys real quick, or else they'll start shooting bones everywhere. Oh, and our gun actually pushes us back a little bit. Almost fell off the platform there. It's very satisfying stepping on these guys' head. Not taking damage like that. It looked like there was an achievement to do some rooms without taking, well, without using your, your weapon, which is interesting to uh, think that you have to try to run around and just jump on everything's head, especially when a bunch of stuff like that is spawning in. And you only have five lives, so it's a little sketchy trying to do that there. And we completed that room. Wasn't too terrible. Let's go back to our map here and let's check out this. Oh, looks like we've got a store here. Maybe we can buy a new weapon or some upgrades. Looks like we're a little too broke right now. And we got some upgrades down here that we can do for more accurate shots, some extra bullets, more damage, I think. And after looking through this list, one that really stood out to me was explode when taking damage. I think we definitely have to try that out. Uh, I don't know if we have something like that right now because I did have a, I didn't have a one actually next to it. Never mind then. So we'll do that, and then I guess we'll save up for a bit here and try to get some of these bigger upgrades. So now that we have a new kind of ability, let's check that out in this new room here. So we should be able to explode if we take damage. Hopefully we don't take any damage, but if we do, we can do a little bit of exploding. All right, I've taken damage a couple times as you can see by my uh, poor health bar there, and I didn't see an explosion. As you saw there, I didn't really do much. Well, there was an explosion <laughs> of me dying. But I don't know really what that upgrade did. Maybe there's something I'm missing for it. But with that, I think this is a pretty cool game. And if you guys want to see more, uh, leave a comment below of something that you want to see on this channel. If you want to see this one or if you like this video and you want to see more like it, make sure you subscribe and like this video so I know to keep making more for you guys. But with that, I think this is a great spot to end. And I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.